you look at your kids and you just love them so much, but you're like, I just want to use so bad I have to. They're not going to know. It's going to be one time. They're not going to know, and I'll be right back. And then before you know it, the state has come in and took your kids. You're homeless living in a hallway. You haven't eaten in a week. You haven't showered in two. You know, you're starving. You're sick. You're homeless. Your kids are gone. And it's like, how did this happen? I was only going to use that one day. My name is Cassie Duran. I didn't have a mother growing up. My mother was an addict, and she was an alcoholic, and she was very abusive, and she just didn't know how to be a mom. I was a heroin addict at 15 years old. I didn't have a chance. I got pregnant with my son, Matthew. That's how I came to meet Dr. Saya. That's how I got to BMC. She sat me down, and she said, I want to help you. The hardest thing for a pregnant woman to do is to admit that she's using. You know, I'm not here to make you feel any worse about yourself or about your addiction. And she offered the help. The help was there, but I wasn't ready. And unfortunately, I went back out, and I used drugs on a daily basis. I ended up back at Boston Medical Center, shackles and handcuffs, pregnant with my son, almost ready to give birth. And because I chose drugs and I couldn't stop using, you know, I don't get to see him until he's 18. I went back to Boston Medical Center when I was pregnant with Mackenzie. And I was clean at the time, but I just, I felt like I wanted to use. And so instead of using, I went and I asked for help. The RESPECT program at Boston Medical Center is a place that helps pregnant women obtain some sobriety while they're pregnant so they don't have to use street drugs. I know for me, AA meetings keep me grounded. Therapy keeps me grounded. And it keeps things just going in a positive direction for me. You know, I need these things in my life. I really do. Dr. Saya was just the one that has had the biggest impact in my life that I love and respect so much. But there's a lot of people that are just as kind, just as loving, just as non-judgmental as she is. And for that, I'm grateful. I've been clean three years. I have worked really hard. I fought for two years in court for my other two daughters. They're 13 and 9. They're amazing. My son, Richie, he has been right by my side. Just, uh, just right there fighting this battle with me on a daily basis. When it comes right down to the nitty gritty, we are right there for each other. My goal is to be a good mom. And I couldn't imagine my life 